You are now tuned in to Talking with Tunchi, where we discuss and give tips that will help to improve your quality of life with subjects like business and personal credit, marketing, starting a business, raising children, saving, insurance, romance, finance, health, and much more. No subject is too big or small. So tune in, share, comment, and enjoy the show where the game is free and all you got to do is apply it. Talking with Tunchi, where we can come together, learn together, and grow together. What's going on, YouTube? You guys have just bear witness to... Uh, my podcast is going to be coming very soon. We're going to be talking about all types of different things outside of truck driving. But today we are going to talk about these brokers. Um, I had a couple brokers in my comments and they was uh, they was they was just kind of giving me their side of it. And at first I was being really nice, but it really got under my skin and it aggravated me. So before we get into that, we got to definitely pay some bills. Check it out. All right. Well, today, uh, basically, I got really, really aggravated. I was listening to some of the brokers and they was they were saying like on their side of things, they were saying that, well, it's been a market where these carriers have been asking for more and more. And now you want to cry because now rates are down and you're not uh, first and foremost. Anybody that can fix their mouth to say anything bad about a trucker. They might as well say something bad about the armed forces because we are like the armed forces in the United States of America. You know why I say that is because everything you look around, you see has been on a truck. And when soldiers go to war, guess what happens? Them trucks run out when it is a travesty like a, a hurricane like Katrina or is it, it is is Hurricane Sandy. Guess what they do? They say, hey, truckers, you guys could just forget about the logs and y'all can rock and roll. And we get it there. Now, another thing we do, we sacrifice. We sit outside in a, 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 a so many by so many uh, size, almost sale, if you may say. And we go and we uh, we get out there and we run them rolls and we make sure that everybody got the groceries, not a Corona hit. We running loads of sanitizer. We running loads of alcohol. You got the tankers out there. You got everybody out there. You got grocery runs. We got all these things going on. And you know what happens? We get shorted. I got so agitated. I got out to uh, Colorado and just to get back, I had to book a load that paid 78 cent a mile. Now, let's talk about safety. Let's get on the oils of this thing called safety. Now, when you think about safety, you think about this, right? You say, hey, these guys going out here and they have these trucks that, that they have to work on. And they have all these things going on with these trucks. And we got to make sure that they are DOT compliant, right? Now, let's let's ask a broker. How much does it take to get you to work, sir? How much gas? Okay. Okay. You could take the bus to work or, or you can Uber to work, right? Okay. So your, your safety and the safety of the public is not, you know, a thing, correct? But if we're not fixing these trucks and these leaf springs breaking or we can't afford to get a tire, eight hundred dollars for a tire. Guess what happens? We put ourselves and the safety of the public at risk. Now, let's be honest. Let's be honest. How is it that a broker can be so full of themselves that I'm sorry, I was getting a call. Man, man, this dude just. Let me let me let them know I'm actually live. I'm gonna let them know I'm live. Uh, I'm just gonna FaceTime them and let them know. But like the safety of the public is always at risk. If we don't get this truck fixed, if we don't get the things we need to get done done, guess what happens? We could be riding down the road and we could say, "No, nah, I ain't gonna go to that TA because they're gonna charge too much. I really ain't make nothing on this load." 
then guess what happens? Something happens with that truck. It goes out of control and it plows into a van with three kids in there. Guess what happens right after that? Guess what happens? What happens is we find out that it was a broker's family. Would that be karma? Just because you want to make a couple extra dollars, we can't afford to keep our truck on the road because it takes almost a dollar and some change to run most of these trucks. Then not only that, we got to stay compliant. We got all these things going against us. Everybody want to call me now. This is absolutely making no sense. How much greed can you have fit into one person? How much greed can you fit into one person to the point where, you know what I said, the most dangerous thing about a, 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 a one-sided power? It gets really dangerous when a person believes and makes up excuses why they should have it. That's when it becomes ridiculous. Now, you got these brokers out here. Oh, well, look, um, um, well, well, they've been they've been taxing us out. Look, dude, you take a percentage off the low while you sit at home or at, at a comfortable desk at an office. We are sitting eating terrible foods, hardly getting exercise, running up the road, facing dangerous conditions. Some of us then came through tornadoes and hurricanes. What do you have to endure to go through work, sir? See, this is the ridiculous stuff that I'll be saying, man. And there's no regulations to stop these people from doing this. But it's regulations on us to keep this truck at a certain level of compliance. And then we always held accountable. But these brokers don't want to. They want to take all of me, the brokers and the shippers, whoever, whoever is taking all the money off the lows. You can say we crying. You can say whatever you want to say about us. But the one thing you can't say is I'm lying. Say I'm lying. Say it don't take a lot of money to run a truck. Say a steel tire don't cost usually around five hundred dollars. But if you got a blowout, you got to pay a service call. It's eight to a thousand bucks. Say every time you go in for the smallest thing, whether the light, whether it's a light, you're going to pay a hundred dollars to fix that light. What you going to pay uh, uh, when you go into it? I just pay. I went to a shop. I swear to God, I went to a shop. And when I was at this shop. I uh I went in to get one of my back lights. You know, when you backing up, that light wasn't working. And I had to fix um it was a small air leak up front. So they said that was a DOT. So they failed me for, you know, I just got a DOT, I guess, on the way up there. It must have went out. So I went in to get it fixed. I'm like, man, me, I say probably 800 bucks, you know, something like that. The bill came back. Close to five thousand dollars. And if I don't fix it, even though during this pandemic, a lot of the way stations were closed. I took the money and I fixed it because you know what? I care about public safety. Do you, Mr. Broker, or do you care about how much you're going to take home? The thing is, is that even if you are not in control of what you're going to get off the load, Mr. Broker or Mrs. Broker. When you get on these posts and you start saying that, well, hey, it's our time now or this or that or this, you're not even thinking about it. Those diapers that's on your child, we made sure, you know, that it got to the store. What, what, by, by you, you know, standing in between the person that's shipping it, the person that's receiving it and processing it, and the person that's getting it from point A to point B, what type of importance do you feel like you have? Why are you even necessary? You know what? For all the greedy brokers out here and the people that's in these situations, I hope that one day they start a software that these shippers can just get on, put their rates up, what they want to pay, and these receivers can get on, and, and, and put they love detention calls or whatever they want to do. And we could get rid of brokers because if you're going to trim all the money off or just suck all the life or take all the meat off the bone and just leave us with absolutely nothing. And we out here fending for not only ourselves and our own safety for you and your family. You should be ashamed of yourself. And for that guy who commented, if he does see this. 
I want to see what your comeback going to be for this. Stay tuned for part two. You already know this is your boy, Toon. Before we get out of here, I'm going to let you guys know we got a lot of stuff going on. We got a lot of stuff coming up. So make sure y'all check it out. It's your boy, Toon. She's signing off. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. My peace.